Hello everyone, this is Miss McGall from Harp Elementary. Today I'm going to be showing you or your student how they can log into Google Classroom and all of their stuff that they normally use on their Chromebooks. Students in grades 2nd through 12th grade all have Chromebooks that they use at school. They can actually link all of their stuff, all their tabs, all their logins on a computer by doing this. So when you first open up Google Chrome, over here at the top right, there's a little person. And if you click it, you can go down and click add. Here you can type in the student's name. They can choose a picture. And then click add at the bottom right. If you notice at the top right, it now has that picture. If you click on it again and click Turn on Sync, it will ask for the student's email address. The student may type in their username, and then they need to add at sdale.org. To do the at sign, you hold shift and you press the number two. And you can click next. Have the student type in their password. And then click next. We'll ask you, do you want to link the data? Yes, you do. So click link data. You want to turn on sync, say yes. And now all your students' tabs will start showing up right here, bookmarks. And it'll also save their logins. So to get on Google Classroom from here, if they click the nine little squares or circles and click classroom, it will automatically take them to their classroom and they will see all their classrooms listed. Now to test out the login, I'm going to go to this student's Prodigy login. And as you can see, it automatically has the student's username and password. A lot of students save their logins on their Chromebooks so they don't have to type them in. So this is going to be very helpful because then they won't have to ask for as many logins from their teacher. Now, if it is a shared computer, you can click up here and add more than one person. And then all they have to do is just switch through their name when they are on their computer. I hope this was helpful.